Hello traders, FS Piccoletti here. Today is Wednesday, August 28th, and I'm going to be analyzing the US dollar Canadian. Starting on the monthly, working my way all the way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. So on the dollar cat, I still think this first five waves up right here is a wave A. I think we are now in a one, two, three pattern or an ABC pattern to the downside to take out the low of wave four for most likely a wave B. Then I think we'll likely go back up for wave C. But this is the monthly time frame, and this is probably going to take several months to play out. Probably at least a few months to play out. So going down to the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, I think this right here is likely a wave A. I think this right here is likely one, two, three waves up for wave B. Yes, it is a higher high than the previous trend, but that's just an irregular wave B. It happens quite a lot. And I think there's a very good likelihood this is now going down for a wave C of wave B, like what I sold on the monthly time frame. So taking it down to the daily time frame, very, very, very strong move to the downside on the dollar CAD. Ever since we broke starts to the downside several weeks ago, we have done doing nothing but looking for sorts on sort of time frames at the end of every single pullback we see. And until we actually see, you know, like a break of starts on these higher time frames, something like that, I definitely would continue to look for sorts on these sort of time frames. So going down to the four hour time frame, for me, the last starts level is way up here. I I still think this is likely like a one, a two, and this is still a wave three. Until we actually get a break of structure to the upside so telling us this wave three is over, which we definitely don't even have yet, I personally would continue to look for sorts on sort of time frames. No proof the trend is over. Trend is down on basically every single higher time frame. The trend is your friend, so I will definitely continue to trade with the trend until proven otherwise. Now taking it down to the one hour time frame. Now if we do go up and break structure, then I would throw my Fibonacci retracement on this whole move down right here. And I would still primarily be looking for sorts unless you are a sort time frame trader. If you are a sort time frame trader, you could definitely try trading in like the end of a wave B to the long side for a wave C or something like this. If you're not, if you're more of a medium time, trade, time frame trader, like a swing trader, then you're probably going to wait for a Fibonacci bounce, a Fibonacci retracement of this last push down, a nice engulfing move to the downside to go sort for the continuation of the downtrend. But this all depends on seeing a structure break. If we do not see a structure break, then I would definitely continue to look for sorts. There's no proof at all that this wave three is over. It easily, easily could just keep on going down. I know that I will definitely continue to look for sorts at the end of all pullbacks I see until I can tell that this wave 3 is over, which I definitely cannot do yet. So don't forget to join my free Discord group, which is linked down here in the corner. And as always, thank you and happy trading.